Hello there and welcome, my name is Jimmy Wigman and in today's video we're going to check out the new tables uh, enhancements that just was announced uh, where tables now will get drag and drop functionality. Uh, so let's jump over into the Atlassian community and show you what that one looks like. So here we are now in uh, Atlassian community uh, where uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name because I probably will not uh, manage to do justice to how it is pronounced. But in the Atlassian community they have now published an article on how confluence tables will now get drag and drop. And they also have a very nice little uh, video here, a little gif uh, that show you how this one will work. So the way what they have done it is they have created now new handles as they are called in design and that will allow you now to drag and drop both uh, columns and rows to wherever you want to have them. So this one is something that I know a lot of people have asked for because it's been a pain in the you know what every time you need to delete a row and you need to create one higher up uh, because you placed it in the wrong place uh, or because you needed to insert something new uh, and you, you made it in the wrong place. So now you can just drag and drop it uh, wherever you want. So you can see here how nice it actually looks. So you can just click on it, you will get a little bit of a handle up there and then you can drag it and just drop it wherever you want. And they are also giving us new table controls, so uh, rather than having everything at the bottom uh, like we used to have, uh, we now have it based on the columns like this. And this one will also allow us to do a little bit more things, I think, uh, or maybe it's just that I haven't used them as much so far. So, for example, distribute cells, uh, I know it came out early uh, in the middle of last year, but I have never actually used it uh, so far. Uh, but now you can uh, get a much nicer overview and you can also uh, have them in context uh, rather than have to, having to hover over and waiting for this little arrow here. You can just click on the handle. And you can also, in, when you want to click in these ones, uh, you have a little bit easier way uh, to, uh, for example, they are showing here merge cells, for example, that is one thing that a lot of people tend to do and it's a little bit easier now in the new context. Uh, so that is good. And they have also provided an uh, auto scroll uh, for uh, wide and long tables and this one uh, can be both good and bad, it depends on how, how wide they are and how annoying it is. Uh, but you can now have much longer tables and wider tables and you will still be able to access them through the scroll. So this is uh, something I think is really, really, really good. Uh, I know that tables in general is something that people have a lot of opinions on. Uh, so I guess we just have to wait for the things that I think most of us are still waiting for, and that is auto summaries and, uh, and uh, macros of that kind. So we can finally let go of conf uh, sorry Excel. Um, that is uh, something that is... Uh, a dream for many uh, of us that use Confluence on a daily basis. But there you have it. Uh, we have now a drag and drop that will easily let you drag and drop columns and uh, rows. And we also have new table controls, so it's easier to actually work with the tables. And also we have auto scroll them for wide and long tables. So that was it. For this video, I hope you thought it was informative and that you like the new changes. I think uh, this is one of the better ones for Confluence that I've seen this year and I hope we will see many more like that. So with that, all that remains for me to say then is that I hope that you all have an awesome day and a great week.